when very thin glass tube is held vertical in the liquid then either the liquid will rise in that tube or fall in it this phenomenon that is known as capillarity with the help of experiment of capillarity one can find the surface tension of the liquid also now see here the liquid for which the angle of contact is less than 90 degree these liquids will rise in the capillary tube and those liquids for which theta is greater than 90 degree will fall in the capillary tube suppose here as shown in the figure a liquid is taken in the container and a capillary tube that is a glass tube which one is with very small radius very small radius that is of the order of 1 mm or less than that okay so that type of capillary tube is held vertical here so the liquid here filled in this container that is with angle of contact less than 90 degree so that liquid will rise in this capillary tube and suppose it attain height h now the free surface of this liquid in capillary tube that becomes the curved surface that becomes curved surface and here if we draw the tangent at the surface of the liquid which one is in contact with the wall of this tube then the angle between this wall and this tangent that is the angle of contact theta now suppose the radius of this curvature of the liquid surface that is a small r then small r and this tangent are perpendicular now if we take the radius of the capillary tube that is small a then if we prepare here the triangle as shown in the figure then this angle will be also theta now here suppose outside pressure that is po and inside the surface the pressure is pi now in previous theory i already mentioned this thing the pressure on the concave surface that will be always greater than the pressure on the convex surface so in this particular case po outside pressure that is on the concave surface pi the inside pressure that is on the convex surface so in this case po is greater than pi now if we think about this curved surface then for that only one surface is open to air means free surface inside this one there is the liquid so we can write the equation for pressure difference po minus pi that is 2s upon r now suppose the density of the liquid that is rho then we know this thing the liquid column of height h exert the pressure in downward direction that is h rho g so at this surface of the liquid in the container outside pressure is po so the pressure difference po minus pi that is equal to h rho g that we already studied in the previous theories so we can write h rho g that is 2s by r but this r the radius of curvature for this curved surface of the liquid is unknown but the radius of the capillary tube that we can measure with the help of microscope so from this figure we can write cos theta that is adjacent upon hypotenuse so cos theta that is a by r 
so r that is equal to a upon cos theta so h rho g equal to 2s upon a by cos theta so we can write h rho g that is equal to 2s cos theta upon a make s as a subject so we can write s equal to a h rho g upon 2 cos theta now see here in this experiment just we have to measure the height of the liquid in this capillary tube and now we can calculate the surface tension of this liquid with the help of this equation clear to all of you